Nope. Early radars. Oh, whoa, Fusis, Fusis. That's a dangerous spot to be in. He's gotta be careful of this island lobbing. Oh, he's he's getting smashed. He did say he was a new player. And he's he's not paying attention to the crossfires. He's putting himself in a terrible crossfire. This island is nasty for Team Good for Team Stalingrad. Does it go or it does? Oh, hits the nose. He, he lives. Oh, we got some strikes on the guys near the islands. I guess every time they're spotted, they're gonna get swole. They're gonna get struck a lot. Oh, Scriptonite, not having a good time. They have vision of, uh, what was his name? Who's this again? Scriptonite running for his life. I think he might get a good, good chunk in on Midori. Oh, big chunk in on Midori. Midori does get an airstrike, though. If it lands well, I don't think it's enough lead, or is it? No, it's not enough lead. He's going to glide on the border. Oh, he gets hit, but no fire. Hit, but no fire. Oh, but here comes the next drop, though. Is it enough lead? Oh, some hits again, but still no fire. My man is immune to fires here. He's immune to fires. Oh, average brain injury comes out with HE loaded. Oh, some hits. No, actually no hits. That was his guns. They're trying to finish up Midori. Midori is kiting for her life. Midori just needs to stop shooting, though. Midori, stop shooting and go die. They pick up the kill, but I don't... If they trade, they can, they can get to trade back. They do get Fuses on the other side. That crossfire turning out to be a big problem. Midori, though, can they trade? 3k? Doesn't require much at this point. Midori goes dark. Ball is in the air. <sighs> that was a hit. But she does go dark. Any shots coming in? Any blind fires? Oh, Midori is healing. And does go dark. Hmm, one for one gaming so far. One for one gaming. Oh, quick fans trying to push the flank. Planes are instantly here. It is nose in. That's always dangerous in a Stalingrad in these camps. That's always dangerous in these games. Oh, how's that lead? He's trying to stop him from reversing? That lead looks really good. Does he have the range? Is it enough lead? Oh shit, quick fast. Oh! That's, that was triple fires, he DCPs. Has to DCP. Or is he within range of the plane strikes anymore? I don't think so, unless they can push up. I doubt it, not with this crossfire, they can't really push up. Let's see what Anim Thighs can pull off. Iron Jesus hates giving him fires. His degeneracy has offended Iron Jesus. Meanwhile, friendly intentions got double fires burning. Oh, make that triple fires. Also got DCP. Good DCP control from Team Stalingrad here. Trying to avoid getting any perm fires on them, but this NG drop might be perfectly timed. Might be perfectly timed. Oh! Oh shit, that's perma double perma fires. Uh oh. That was a perfect timing on the drop. And Friendly Intentions is... Uh, yeah, he's he's in big trouble here. Big trouble. You can't get a follow-up fires, but two fires already is going to hurt a lot. Two fires are going to hurt a lot. And they will keep focusing him now, especially the fires are keeping him lit like bonfire. Oh, that's a third fire. Oh, shit. Good night, sweet prince. Oh no, this is not fine, chat. This is not fine. This is not fine. Oh no, this is not fine. NG picks up the kill. Kill advantage to Team Gutenloon. Oh, look at this though. We have a Gutenloon. No way. Oh boy. Well, this is dangerous though, because... 
Oh, Colin, Colin is reacting to this though. If you push it through here, that crossfire is going to be absolutely brutal. They are, however, I think using Hydra to spot these guys and dropping them with the help of the spotting that this Guten Lu is providing. Oh, no! The, the, the spotting that they provide with this Hydra from here. <gasps> no way! Guitar Guru is perma Hydra here. He's perma Hydra. He tried to push up to leave it, but now he's just being focused fire. Oh, shit. Oh, everyone dropped as soon as he got spotted. Everyone dropped. Guitar Guru has... Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Oh, this is not fine, man. This is not fine. Oh, Jesus. Quad fires, man. That's not good. Not good. They're trying to deal with him now. Hydra through solid rock is a really great mechanic. Yeah, but it still can't spot subs. <laughs> it can spot it can put ships on the other side of a mountain, but it can't spot the sub. Seems good. Oh no, he's spotting Colin as well. This spotting from the middle, I think it's doing a lot for them right now. It's doing a lot for them. Let's see if Guten lose overextend again. Last time they fucked it up by overextending. We'll see how it turns out here. Oh, Colin is actually in trouble. I think he's saving his DCP. They've been managing DCPs well so far. But this is such a nasty angle for from Video J because he can't be shot. He's behind the island. He's shooting for a gap. He's made it a one versus one where he can farm for free. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think he had to DCP to try to stay alive. It's one volley every way. <gasps> All shutters! Oh, he did have DCP. Meanwhile... Tom picks up Mr. Penguin over here. I think that was a cross-map shot over here. They will trade back, I think, on Colin. Can they, though? Colin! How is he alive? He is selling his skin for a heavy price. They do get a perm fire. That might be the end. Gordon Memesy, though, he's having none of this shit. He's gonna push in. Zero, can he ram? A ram would be good at this point. He's trying to save his buddy here. He is trying to save his buddy here. I don't know. Oh, they do pick him up. One is, they're trying, they, they will finish him. They do not get it. Oh, this push might be interesting. They're trying to stop the push. Everyone is sending planes to stop the push. Three people go down. Oh, Colin finally goes down. So we're down to a seven versus nine. Gordon Mimsy just pushing that. Loses half his HP to the strikes, but the push continues. The push continues. No, did Tom go down? No, Tom is still alive. Mr. B, it's surprisingly healthy considering his island position here. Oh. Gordon Mimsy diving through here. This this crossfire is actually super dangerous for them. Super dangerous for Team Guten Lu. Lasso is also pushing or well, kiting down the flank. Inji gets the cap. 500 points to 300. Are the Stalingrads not raiding? They, they cycle raiding. But they've been forced so far back that they're actually struggling to even raid our ships. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Video J is radar. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is ballsy from Gordon Mimsy. This is ballsy from Gordon Mimsy. If you can get this shot off, holy Video J is in huge trouble here. Oh! Smash! Half HP gone. He does get some sits in. Oh! But we have a Guten Lu who's repositioned to help to crossfire. Who do we have here, actually? But behind the island, Captain Glue Bottle with 5k health is providing some much needed crossfire. Holy shit, that's actually really clutch. Goes to show even a low HP ship can be highly valuable. They do, however, pick up Video J because of the crossfire that was created. We're down to 6 versus 8. 6 versus 8. Better than 7 versus 9. Maybe. Maybe. Depends on if they can open the map. Oh, NG, it's a huge chunk from Juan Kenobi. Oh, there are they overextending again? Oh, do we have the classic Guten Lu move here? 
That this is what happens when you dedicate your life to playing a glue ship. You be, you look too deeply into the void of glue, and you yourself become the glue. Oh no! And we're to six versus seven now. The glue, all that glue sniffing. Oh, where are we going to be a six versus six? We're going to a six versus six chat. Six versus six. Too much glue. This is what happens. This is what happens when you take too much glue. Mr. Beats eats a billion airstrikes now. Man just ate the equivalent of one USS sus drop, which is basically your entire health pool. He is pushing up though. The thing is, can they finish off the low HP guy? Another strike coming in from Wargaming, please nerf Yoda. Captain Glue Bottle, so valuable at, with this low HP ship. So valuable with this 5k HP ship. He only pops out out of stealth to take a pot shot, and every time he does, he's killing ships. He is really carrying Team Glue right now with these crossfires, man. High value, low HP gaming. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. Five versus six. Five versus six. Lasso pushing up, trying to go to create crossfire. Actually, I like this Stalingrad positioning. Stalingrad pushes here, this one pushes here, they get a crossfire. The problem is, of course, with 32k health and three Guten Lows, that's a lot of planes coming your way. That's a lot of planes coming your way. Oh, Midori is so low as well. Oh, Midori is down to 6k health. Oh, how's the airstrike? Oh, it's pretty good. The second one, even better. 10k health gone, double fires. He do they do pick up Midori though. 5 versus 5. How do we go to a 5 versus 5 chat? He does DCP. Does it go dark? Can he go dark after the DCP? If he can and he, he can recycle his DCP, we have opportunities. Oh man. These are some real battles, man. These are some real battles. Oh, Wargame Police of Yodo. He's being crossfired by Silver Star. Uh oh. Uh oh. This crossfire push, you love to see it from the Stalingrad. So they're spread out, they're creating as big a crossfire as they can. Airstrike comes in. Silver Star tries to dodge. It's a big hit, double fire. He does DCP. He does blow his heel. Do they have any follow up? Suddenly, 5 versus 4. Suddenly, 5 versus 4. I even mentioned it. Are they going to overcommit? And then we see a ship dive here and get dev struck. Lasso pushes around the corner. Do triple fires, he will go down. Four versus four. Captain Glue Bottle goes for a pot shot again. He's been very clutch with this. Oh, he's been so clutch! That's three goddamn kills picked up by this 5k HP Captain Glue Bottle. He's been so clutch with those volleys. God damn! Absolute MVP for Team Guten Lu here. Absolute MVP. Now though, Average Brain Enjoyer trying to defend uh, Cap D here. In a lot of trouble. Tom pushing up. Radars. Probably gonna secure A unless they can stop him. Ends in five minutes. Oh, Nokester is trying to help out. Rohan. Rohan is being dropped. Average Brain Enjoy trying to reverse to get into cover. Miss on the drop. Three versus three. Do they get permafires? Of course not. On the other hand, they get a fire on uh, Average Brain Enjoyer. You gotta remember, Guten Lu burns exactly the same as Stalingrad does. Oh, drop coming in on Tom. And in thigh, connoisseur. Man, his weaving has rotted his brain. He can't land a strike. He does get some resets in there. Tom, 12k health, pushing up. Gets vision. Oh, and in thigh is full HP. How's the RNG with the fires? No fires. Zero damage, basically. Oh, Tom is trying to die behind the island. I was trying to go. He's, he's going for a crossfire. No, he's this. He's gambaing that he can kill this guy at the cost of his own life. He goes down. How's the gamba? The crossfire. Is it clutch? Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. It is not enough. And this guy has gone dark. How's his health pool? 9k health. Rohan crossfired. Oh, he's got the AP angles now. He's got under the front guns. Being chunked, being citadel. Three versus two. Oh, but he's, 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 he has no DCP now. If they get an HE volley in on average brain enjoyer, he will go down. But oh, this un front gun count, man. He needs to angle the front guns more. He's being shot under the front guns, and it's brutal. They get a perma fire on him. Oh, AP comes in. He will burn to death. No, he's got to heal. He's got to heal at 800 health. And they actually managed to take him down. HE volley comes in. No follow-up fires. 
Juan Kenobi, one mercy is free. Down three caps soon, three caps to one. About to be airstruck. They kill average brain enjoyer, but he's got everything to do right now. Everything to do, and a really strong strike. Oh, no caster. He DCPs, but no caster. He's got a second strike cycled in, and he's stuck nose in. A death sentence to any Stalingrad in this game mode. Oh my god, he gets absolutely dev struck, perma fires, 1k health left, absolutely nothing to do, and he will burn to death because Kuznetsova does not work in the training room. My god, my god, and we have Guten Lu punching back after losing the first map. They come back in map number two and actually secure a win. And if there ever was a MVP in this battle, it's Captain Glue Bottle Man. What an absolute monster carry by this 5k HP dude. God damn. Glue redeems himself. Truly, truly. Let me give out the points. Let's see. Wow, look, look at these predictions. Chat having no faith chat. Guten 40%, Stalin 60%. Oh, big, big winners for Team Guten. Big winners for Team Guten. Which team wins? Team Guten Lu. Complete prediction. Boom. Prediction result is Guten. 860 channel points, 60k channel points spread to the 33 guys that voted Guten Lu. Well done. Well done. Dude, <laughs> the flame kills stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Do you want a deciding third map? Do you want the deciding third map? Who is truly superior, Guten Lu or Stalingrad? Do you want the deciding third map? Because we're 1 1 right now. Can we have the same dudes line up? But this one needs to be decided.